Microsoft Azure Active Directory can now be integrated with JSTOR P-Series PBX Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition. With this integration, you can synchronize your Azure Active Directory users, organizational units, and groups to the PBX, and allow the sync to Azure Active Directory users to directly log into Linkus UC clients by their user accounts through single sign-on feature. In this video, we'll take Yaystar P-Service PBX Appliance Edition as an example and show you how to realize this integration step by step. If you want to try out the integration, please apply for a free trial for our P-Service PBX from the link in the description and integrate it with the Azure Active Directory. Before anything, we need to make sure that we have an Azure Active Directory. Use a Microsoft Azure account with Global Administrator Privilege to implement the integration. And for the PBX, we need to subscribe at least to Enterprise Plan and have activated the FQDM. First, log into PSERIS PBX Animus Twitter interface and get the redirect URIs from the PBX. In the integration, find User Sync and SSO. And here we will see Microsoft 365. Now we need to fill in the Active Directory server info for the PBX. Click on the Integrate. Copy redirect URI and link as web client SSO redirect URI for following steps. Now we can move forward to register an Azure Active Directory application that will be used to connect a Yaystar P Service PBX system in Azure Active Directory. We log into Microsoft Azure portal with mentioned global administrator account and then search Azure Active Directory. To enter your directory, then in the menu, click on App Registrations and click New Registration. Then in the pop-up window, put in the name. Then in Supported Account Types, choose accounts in this organizational directory only. And in Redirect URI, select Web Platform and put in the Redirect URI copied previously. Then click on Register. Now the application is registered. Copy the application ID for the future configuration. Then, if necessary, we can go implement single sign-on to allow the synced Azure Active Directory user to log into Linkus Web Client by their Microsoft accounts. In the Azure Active Directory application, go to Authentication, then add the SSO redirect URI copied in the previous step. Click on Save and move on. For the next step, we need to ensure the data access between Azure Active Directory and PSERVICE PBX by granting the required API application. In the menu, click on API Permissions. Click on Add a Permission. Then in Select an API, go to Microsoft APIs. And then, choose Microsoft Graph. Now click on Application Permissions. Then in Search Bar, we can search to find required permissions and enable them. Here we have a list of all permissions needed in the form. Please add all of them. Now we can click on Grant Admin Consent to grant the permissions list. And a window will pop up asking for confirmation. Click on Yes. Now we need to generate a client secret for the Azure Active Directory application. Go back to the app window and find certifications and secrets. Click on New Client Secret, and then add a description and set expiration date for this client. Then we click on Add. This new secret is created and added to the client secret list. We need to take note of it for the next step. As for we have finished all the preparation, we can start by connecting the PBX and Azure Active Directory. Let's go to the PBX Administration page and go to Integration. Find User Sync and SSO. Then find Microsoft 365. Click on Integrate. Then put in the application ID and client secrets, which we get from previous step. And then click on Save. Now a new window will pop up to show us unavailable Azure Active Directory accounts. Choose the one with Global Admin's Twitter privilege. In the pop-up window, click on Next. And then accept the permissions requested. Then click on Save. Now the integration is finished and we can check the connection status. After the integration, we can move on to set up the user synchronization. We move back to the user and SSO. Here we switch on the user synchronization. Then we can set the user range for extension auto creation. 
It means that the chosen user from Active Directory will have their corresponding extension automatically created on the PBX. So we need to specify who will be synced to the PBX. Here we have three options. We can choose them as we need. Then we can move on to decide how we want to assign the extension number. We can set up assign automatically and define the initial number. Or if the extension number is already set in the Azure Active Directory user account, we can choose read specific property value and then point out the property name in Azure Active Directory user settings where the number is configured. Then we can decide under what condition should we delay the extension. Then at the last, we can decide if we want to enable auto-associate extensions with the users that share the same email address. Now when everything's done, click on Save. Now we can go to Sync Organization Unit to PBX as Extension Group or Organization. Go back to User Sync and SSO page and enable Organization Unit Synchronization. Then just as before, we specify which organizational units do we want to sync from the Azure Active Directory. Then we can move on and configure to sync the organization unit to the PBX as Extension Group or Organization. When everything's finished, we click on Save. And for the last step, we set up the single sign-on for Link as UC clients. Here we find Enable SSO and switch on. Then in Login Address, we choose the local IP address for local sign-in, add domain for remote sign-in, then click on Save. If necessary, we can also sync the presence of the Azure AD account to corresponding extensions. To do that, we can go to the PBX admin interface and then go to Integrations find collaboration, and then enable Microsoft Teams users' present synchronization, then click on Save. Next, we can go on to enable Outlook contact synchronization to PBX. Go to the PBX admin interface and go to Integrations. In Collaborations, find Microsoft Outlook contact synchronization and enable it. Then select the checkbox. And in User Range, click on the drop-down button and select the range. Please ensure that the user's range selected here falls into the range you selected earlier for this integration. Then click on Save. Now, if needed, we can go on to share our contact with PBX as well. Here we log into the Outlook desktop client and click on People. Then in My Contacts, right-click on the folder that we want to sync and then choose Properties and then find our authentication account. Click on Permissions, and then Add. Here we can search for the account. Double-click to add it, and then click on OK. Then we can select this account, and in Read, select the full details, and in Other, choose Folder Contact. When we're done, click on Save. We can also synchronize contacts from Outlook shared mailboxes to PBX. To do it, we can go back to Microsoft Outlook Contact Synchronization and check Shared Mailbox Contact Synchronization. And we select the range like we did previously. And then specify to which contact book on our PBX we want to sync our Outlook contacts. Once we're done, click on Save. Now we can add the authentication account of Azure AD to the Shared Mailboxes. Go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and click on Teams and Groups. Then go to Shared Mailbox. Select the mailbox that we want to configure and then go to Members. Then Edit. Here we click on Add Members and find Authorization Account. Edit. Now the Shared Mailbox is also synced to the PBX. Alright guys, that was how we figure out the integration between Yaystar P Service PBX and Microsoft Azure AD. Hope you guys like it. Need more details? Don't forget to visit yaystar.com and subscribe our channel.